The IPA is done fermenting. Uh, it's probably been sitting about two weeks, close to. Uh, fermented at 65 and then let it ramp up to about 70 over the course of fermentation to clean everything up. So we're gonna grab the uh, fermenter and get this going. Try not to disturb it too much. See, we got a nice big yeast cake on the bottom there. We had a really active fermentation. You can see the croissant was all the way up into here. Um, used a blow off tube on this one, um, which is probably a good thing because it looks like it's pretty close. These lids are kind of a pain. <clears throat> Cameraman, it just, if you could just hold this. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. Cool, yeah. Got my sanitized little turkey baster. You can use a wine thief, whatever, but I've always just used a turkey baster. Um, they work fairly well. So it's gonna take a final gravity reading. That's gonna be good. Right around 10, 10, 10, eight. All right, so we're gonna dry hop this for five days in the keg. Uh, we're just gonna use a stainless steel dry hop dealy. And we got an ounce of mosaic. I sprayed these with uh, star sand, so they should be good, the table's been sprayed. And then we got an ounce of uh, citra. Get the uh, sanitized top of this thing. And I've never used one of these, so I usually just put it in a mesh bag, but I figure we'll give this a whirl and see how it works. If you guys have used these, have any tips, let us know. So I figure if we have this on it, it might make it easier to get out. But again, if you've used one of these, you have any tips, let me know. So I'm just gonna lower it down. Yeah, there's like nothing I can hook it on. So we'll have to drink a lot of it and then we can pull it out. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. And then we're just gonna rack the uh, beer right onto it. And that sample tasted really good, so I feel pretty good about this beer. Had a couple uh, couple ones that didn't turn out too great, but we finally have our fermentation chamber set up so we can actually ferment at proper temperatures. Um, nothing in direct sunlight, which has been an issue. Did some water treatments on this as well. We will uh, just transfer this in and then get it on gas and a few days as soon as it's carved up we'll uh we'll have to start tasting it because this ipa should taste pretty darn good pretty fresh so all right starting to pick up some yeast so pull that off but you can see we got a real real nice yeast cake down there so looked like a pretty healthy fermentation we just got a touch under five gallons, probably 4.9 into the keg. Take our sanitized lid, just pop that on. And then take this into the kegerator. All right. All right. I always like to the keg, get any oxygen out of there, push it out with the CO2. So we got our porter without the blackberries here. We still need to keg that. We got the summer ale and the American ale in there. So we'll let this carb up, let the hops sit for five days, start pouring some drinks and try and get those hops out of there. How? I don't know. Cool. We'll let this sit for a few days and, uh, We'll be back. Giddy up.